Hello. We're going to go through a series of videos uh, on how to install OpenStack on actual hardware. Uh, we'll be using uh, the Ubuntu server release and their landscape OpenStack installer. And I'm going to take you through putting this on actual hardware uh, using MAS. So we're going to go all the way from uh, server install, hardware configurations, all the way to OpenStack install, spinning up VMs, uh, getting a full cloud going. Uh, so let's get started. Let's just go to Ubuntu.com and grab the server software. So uh, there, you can see they're already advertising OpenStack, but we just, let's grab server. Uh, let's go to the download and hit server. Uh, we will be getting 14.04.2, uh, uh, the long-term support release, and just hit download. And your download should start down here in the window. So. Uh, that takes a little while. Uh, we don't, I've already got a copy, so uh, we don't need to wait for that. Now, we're going to install Ubuntu from a USB flash drive. And the easiest way to get instructions on how to do this is just search for it. So create USB from Windows. And then Ubuntu gives you kind of a rundown of how to get that done. It's the first one. And we're going to use uh, this installer, this universal USB installer. I've used it a lot and it, it seems to work pretty much every time. Uh, you can go to their site uh, and download that uh, UUI. So we'll back up to you, Ubuntu. So you can grab the software and install the ISO on a USB drive. Uh, I'm also going to put all these links to everything I download and, and what I do on a, a Google site. Uh, and I'll put that link underneath the video. I'll put these links in there as well. So the installer's done and it just runs. It's not an install package. You, you can just run it. Uh, and you select uh, Ubuntu Server Installer browse for the ISO file you downloaded so server 64-bit server 1404 is cr server is currently only available in 64-bit and then select a USB drive that you don't care what's on it because it's going to wipe everything out and put the installer on it so go ahead and hit create hit yes and it's going to unpack and install everything on this drive uh, I'll pause now while this completes because it takes a little time to run through Okay, now the install process is complete. You can see he's process complete, done successfully. Go ahead and close that. Now you have a USB flash drive that you can install Ubuntu on. Uh, we're gonna go the next video. We're gonna do a step by step server install uh, on Ubuntu on the hardware. Uh, for, we'll do the console view. Uh, I just wanted to note we're going to have all of the links and everything uh, that we do, the commands that we do on, on a website. So you'll see me building this as the videos progress. But uh, this is the end of the first one, and we'll do the install in the next video. Thanks.